Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look! These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I. I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. <laughs> Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. I shouldn't leave yet. I shouldn't leave yet. Staying here isn't exactly making me look less guilty. I shouldn't leave yet. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Some of that was definitely directed at me. I shouldn't leave yet.
I shouldn't leave yet. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. I shouldn't leave yet. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. I shouldn't leave yet. I shouldn't leave yet. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. 
Let's try it again. Ready when you are. I shouldn't leave yet. Okay, let's try this again. I shouldn't leave yet. Kind of in the middle of... What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um. Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. <laughs> we both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you...? Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. Can you give that to her? Tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it.
to talk to you. I need your help. I thought I could protect Sophie, but... <sighs> when I was a teenager, I could... rewind time. Just... raise my hand and undo everything. Everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? The point is, I stopped using it and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and, oh, God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyad's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. 
He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? What do you want from us? I thought I wanted some evidence. Close this fucking case and celebrate with a nice cigar. And then I got my evidence. That little photo of you with the gun. And you know what I realized? Not a fucking soul would believe me. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... Collect?
Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you, there's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. That... Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. 
Old school. Nice. I'll bet my camera that Gwen knows something about Maya. Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out have yielded results. You? Nope. She's still not answering any of my calls. I think she's blocking them. And then ran the other way. Last time we spoke, Kim said she didn't want to go out. I think she's depressed. Probably too focused on. Someone a bit more in alignment with her intellect. Someone who isn't droll with a stick up their ass. Funny. I've got it! 
Let's send Kim a gift so she knows we're thinking about her. Hmm. What's the humming about? Is receiving gifts truly her love language? I don't know. No wonder Kim's depressed. We don't even know her love language. Pull yourself together. We can't break down now. Kim needs us. You're right. Oh, roses. What if we sent her roses? Everyone likes that. A classic object of beauty. I think that would please her. But are roses too basic? I don't want Kim to think we chose low-hanging fruit. <gasps> You're right. It has to be perfect. We should research the perfect flower to give her. I hope Gwen's in the mood to answer my questions. These questions aren't going to ask themselves. Gwen should be in her office. I'll bet my camera that Gwen knows something about Maya. I hope Gwen's in the mood to answer my questions.
These questions aren't gonna ask themselves. Gwen should be in her office. I'll bet my camera that Gwen knows something about Maya. I hope Gwen's in the mood to answer my questions. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Any new leads? Shake down anyone else for information lately? No. Crap! Wrong Loretta, Max. You know what? Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. These questions aren't gonna ask themselves. Gwen should be in her office.
I'll bet my camera that Gwen knows something about Maya. I can't imagine being this trusting. Don't they know there's snoops like me around? I hope Gwen's in the mood to answer my questions. These questions aren't gonna ask themselves. Gwen should be in her office. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. 
You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... Ben Lang kid. He used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but... It's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know... I brought you into this world, etc. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over, huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy?
gotcha. Reading some. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. <laughs> 